Ma me vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV die o se dem yopo. And he was born September 4th. Me I was born September 2nd. He was born September 4th 1935. Onya kora wenim. He grew up as a Voltarian. But o fulani kakra e won sai. Ne ma ne ko wari fulani. But ne ma me awon ni. Inti o hwe ni ni tibia ya. It's a little bit of fulani kakra won ni. Onye 90 or ye 50 50. Onye 100% awon ni. But he grew up in the Volta region. You expect the people like this are intelligent enough at their age to be able to make statements are uh, okay where the penny of you I told you about this man and the dinner can see if you come and you find money with me do I owe any duty to you to explain as to whose money when nobody has complained that I have stolen his money member of the council of state mr okujato believes that Cecilia Aberadapa owes no one any explanation of the source of the money found in her home. But you see, these people, they have sat on TV to say some people are corrupt. This old twat, he has sat on TV during Muhammad's time to say people are corrupt. He did not have any baby. And uh, Cecilia Dapa Samaba, and you see, as a member of parliament, as a cabinet minister, as somebody who has already declared her assets, we are asking questions where she got the money. That's all. Cecilia Dapa Samuwe Nineko Yoko, Eba OSP, Ako Attorney General, a simple question is, where did you get the money? That's all. You don't need law, you don't need anybody, you don't need jargons, you need People with reasonable, people who are reasonable enough, kakra. You don't need to wear a suit. You don't need to be an old person. You don't need to be a young person. Sister Ladapa, a public servant. Sister Ladapa, she took an oath that every single thing that she would get, we have the right to question her. That is the reason for the oath. That is the reason for the declaration of assets. That's all. Let's see. The oath to Cecilia Dapa took any the declaration of the assets. No, the reason was that when she gets something out of what she have and what she's been paid, we have the right to question her. In the, the constitution itself, it gives every Ghanaian the right to question Cecilia Dapa. When she gets money, we believe or we think wasn't secured through right means. At this point, nobody has called Cecilia Dapa. Or said Sister Dapa is guilty. But Sister Dapa has the right to exonerate herself. Because at this point, she is a suspect. Now, for such a dirty riffraff, this guy, all the cars he has bought in his life was through politicians. This man. At a point, none a law firm, no, and none MPP for their money laundering. This guy. I know what I'm talking about. Let's say. Legs is any band though to any coup for the man from 2017 this senior. This guy. This guy is no intelligent human being. Yeah. This guy. You, you must also be careful what you do because you can be charged for defamation. Be careful. Because the question is that if you come and you find money with me, do I owe any duty to you to explain as to wh wh whose money? When somebody, nobody complained. That I have stolen his money. Over a million. Uh, what difference does it make? Foreign currency. How many Ghanaians? Look, you Ghanaians are not honest people. The number of people here, when you go, you see all these huge buildings that they are building. <laughs> Nobody, who asked them as to where they got the money from, when they, they started it, when it was it completed? Nobody does. So you just pick on just one individual, you want to make it as if she was just an extraordinary rogue who has stolen money. When you don't even have any, if you have evidence that she stole the money, please make the complaint. But the, as, the argument they are making is that even if you don't have evidence, circumstantial evidence enough, why you have these huge sums of money? Do the law convict people on circumstantial evidence? 
When you go to the criminal court, you must establish the issues beyond all reasonable doubt. And that is what we are trying to establish here. They are trying to establish the reason beyond reasonable doubt. If somebody is in Ghana, this man is not a lawyer. He's an old fool. When you see somebody build a house in Ghana, that person, a businessman, a private person, that person at the end of the day, he is not paid by the taxpayer. He has not taken an oath in front of the taxpayers. He has not declared his assets to us. Sisi Ladapa is under a law, and that law states that if a government official, if we even suspect not to have evidence, of, if we, the constitution states it, if even we suspect that you are involved in something we believe, it does not really correlate with the salary you are being paid. So we as Ghanaians, we can check the lifestyle of people the taxpayers are paying. So if you're a government official, we can even just look at you and say, your lifestyle alone, we want to audit you. The Auditor General can just look at an MP and say, you are a member, you are a minister, your lifestyle alone, you have bought a new Benz, you are building a new house. The Constitution can give us the right to just audit. We have lifestyle audit. So we don't need to establish reasonable doubt or whatever nonsense he's saying. We have to be able, because when Kwame Amwako is building 10 houses in Ghana, it's up to the security agencies, they can walk to him and say, you know something, we want to know where you're getting your money from. People can do it. The institutions can do it. Now, when a member of parliament, a cabinet minister, who has have taken an oath, who is under a constitution, we have every right. We don't need to establish a full reason. We have every right to question her. It is through the questioning that's when we get to know whether she is committing a crime, committed a crime, or trying to hide something. How can this guy, how can anybody tell me this man is an intelligent man? This guy is an old fool. Now, sometimes these people get the opportunity to work in Ghana and lie to us. I told you some time back, I told you the profile of this guy. And, and I told you that he cannot be trusted. This is the same manner Neba Erepi ni maid. Ena ode Neba no Ejwani Koshe Canada. This man, his son raped a house helper na Onwanka Satimi. He knew about it. He knew his son was going to go to jail for life. He basically moved his son to Canada. This Sam Okujato, this old man, this man. Cecilia Dapa is a government official. Any Ghanaian can question Cecilia Dapa's lifestyle. Any person. So if a government investigating institution decides to question Cecilia Dapa, because the Cecilia Dapa herself went out there to complain that her 1 million, 20 million is gone. We were sitting at home. We didn't know Jack. It was the, the, the same Cecilia Dapa who went to the police to say somebody has stolen my money. How much? This amount of money. Then the eyebrow, eyebrows all went up because in your position, how did you come by that money? That is what started this. So for this fool to sit, Cecilia Dapa sat in parliament to tell us that she has spent some huge amount of money on other river, making sure to clean that river or that drainage. Cecilia Dapa, how much did she tell us she, she spent? The Odor River today is full. Sister Rapa still to date has not been able to prove to us how much went into that cleaning or the salting of the Odor River. As we sit here, Sister Rapa has not accounted. This is what she said in Parliament, Sister Rapa. You claim that your ministry had 43 million out of the 200 million dollars. How was that 43 million applied? Mr. Chairman, I have uh, given the um, components uh, out. It's to cap about five heaps 
around the Tantan and then the Odo Basin. And it's also to clean up the Odo Basin to make the channels open for water to flow in. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. $43 million. And we don't have the right to question Sister Derapa where she got that money from because no work has been done. So who on earth will tell me, I don't respect this man? He's not the only taxpayer in Ghana. He's not the only sensible person in Ghana. And he does not even have that intelligence to be discussing. This man is a whole corrupt, corruption package. This guy is not intelligent. And I've been saying on my platform, for years, we have projected some people who are not supposed to be where they are. This Sam Okujato man is on the Council of States. He's a member. This man is on the General Legal Council, where after no markings, after he tormented a family, after he went after a young girl, after somebody at the end of the day sodomized a young man, and after no markings used sacks to go after the three year old. This fool was on General Legal Council defending Afri Nyomakin. When the former Chief Justice, when there was a $5 million bribery scandal between the Chief Justice and that Chief, this was the fool who was sitting on the General Legal Council defending the Chief Justice. Do you know the background of this guy? Do you know where this guy came from to get to this point for Ghanaians to see this guy as a revered man? What intellectual prowess does this guy have that in Ghana we sit and we let any fool, because they are old, we can't question their intelligence. And then they go through the system, like the same way Kufwara has gone through the system and fooling today and misbehaving today. Let me read this guy's bio for you to hear. This guy, Sam Okujato, he went to Zion College of West Africa, Keta, and from 1949 to 1954. Grade 3, with second O-level passes in Ebe and Bible knowledge grade 6 in each. TA. Grade 3 with two O-level passes. Two in Ewe and Bible knowledge grade 6 in each. When he went to O-level, what he went to learn there was other language and what Bible studies. This guy. This is his profile. This is his bio. And this guy is carrying himself. I'm going to show you who he is. He's nobody. Everything about him is a lie. He's so thirsty. He's so corrupt. Let's go on with this guy's profile. He could not proceed to sit from like his much brighter classmates like Professor Kofi Awono and Divine Amen Amen Amen. Amen Amenume. So this guy and Kofi, I wanted them to went to school. They, they all left him. He's a blockheaded guy. This guy is a dumb, he's dumb like a duck. This guy, we are hailing in Ghana and saying Okujato, Sam Okujato. His law firm is the one of the most corrupt law firms in Ghana. Now let me keep on reading this guy. This guy sitting there. Or see, wait. They are 1935. And Chobewu. Bible knowledge, any ever, any school at all level. Wait. Jesus Christ. Now let me go on. Listen to his profile. And these are the people we are sitting in Ghana. Say, okay. Wait. Listen. He ended up first as a people's teacher and later as a private commercial school, which is now defunct, called University, Universal College of West Africa in Somenia, in the Yulo Krobo district in the eastern region, where he studied typing and shorthand, where he was employed as a copy typist. This is his profile, this guy. Mami taking it over, Bimo. This guy, he only passed RME and Eve. I love this article. This is his profile. He ended up first as a people's teacher and later at a private commercial school, which is now defunct, called Universal College of West Africa in Somenia, in the Yulo Krobo district in the eastern region, where he studied typing and shorthand. And thereafter, 
proceeded to ECG where he was employed as a copy typist. This guy and Rebecca Kufuado learned the same thing in school. Typist. The Council of State so. And copy typing. Typist. Only Rebecca Kufuado, the same course. O level. A RME. And I want to cast it pass here. On the professor, I want to move the statue. We need to Dumb head where I was born where he be beyond a bra boom. That is why he's he's or fun be beyond. He's he's just eating anything. My man, finishing the, the proof and chum. Don't waste your time on such weak minded old brats. Now listen. He was later sent to Leeds Commercial School to study as a secretary. Later, I never pardon you called Leeds UK. Because you have to call UK. A good father could not be UK and or buyer or so a lawyer. He was sent to Leeds UK to go and learn secretary, to be a secretary. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll be back. Is the food ready? And no call UK Leeds. A whole no question. I said, no. Make sure I'm here. Boy, I'm like, wait. The reason why they are doing this, and they say all their life, they could not achieve anything. So when the good father came and they realized the good father is a dumb fool. They all capitalized. Everything they could not achieve for the 60 years, that is the time they saw the Omolakaba. These people. Now listen. Front desk school. Okoye front desk is more leads. Now move on. Now, he later returned to Ghana claiming to have studied law at Leeds University. He is recorded in the Ghana Law Report for dubious law practices and on ethical behavior in landmark cases such as Samokujato versus Irani Brothers. Mokai Irani Brothers. I have a criminal way and a need this case. I'm going to be a criminal case. I'm going to be a criminal case. I'm going to be a criminal case. Or three leads by an obakach the Ghana force or call law school. The same thing they could for the air. Or three leads by our choir secretary or by our so called law school. Ever seen there on to me share one of his classmates in UK where he practiced or he went to law school. He could not show us one. To date, when you sit with this man, ask him, can he tell us one of his colleagues in law school in the UK? On to me share. Now let's move forward. There's another case, stubborn case. Atuna Brothers versus Van Boris, and more recently in the infamous case of Estate of Opoku. Now listen to this. It is very funny to also note that the fact that this idiot is a member of Ghana Legal Council where he terrorizes and disciplines younger lawyers for unethical behavior, he and other members of his firm teach advocacy and legal ethics. Can you imagine? The sages say that the message of the un unreformed reformer seldom inspires reformation. Now this is a this is this is a, a whole a whole Supreme Court judge who sent me this guy's proof. A Supreme Court judge. There are more dirty things on this man. And he's telling me, Kevin, I can send you the dubious things he has done in Ghana court. CP Construction GBR, Van Baris and Altuna. The above are some of the dubious cases in which he either scammed his client or attempted to scam them. This man even scammed his own father and family members. This man. Such a greedy person. And when they speak, you could see. So what's nice now with your mom Jimmy? Some of them, they are not smart. They are taking advantage of you. This is from a whole Supreme Court judge. They have been there with him. They know he's fake. They know he's a liar. He went to Leeds to go learn secretary. Front desk. He came back. He said he's a lawyer. And then he they slotted him into a Ghana lawsuit. And Sabo Damli Wayne Memusa, dirty people. Abedru Hande. Today he's saying that if you come and you find money with somebody, okay, what he said again. I'm going to show you how dirty and ignorant these idiots are. All the sins in the Bible, is it only LGBTQI that the clergy have seen? 
Sam Okujato. O se boni a wobai bu muninano. Inti gana fwa sofwo. Trumu trumu mwana muhuye. This guy. Me say ninety percent of lawyers or oh, obufu eku for age group rumba omu ni na boa they are not lawyers. I'm telling you, where we not here where we ask Katie Amon in the law school no oh he was given special privilege eku for ado ne classmate way me say eku for ado group no sa category now be di eighty years ah omu so omu ni lawyer they are liars they are all liars ninety percent of them are liars those times how many of you how many of you people went to school in UK. How many of you could go to the UK those times? So they all go there and they come back with the same story. We went to learn law. When they come and then they will connect and they will put them in the Ghana Law School and they become lawyers. 90% of the group the year group, they are liars. They are not lawyers. Now, they are saying, you are okay. Now, we are going to ask for them. 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 This is his problem. Why are we for pushing this case? These are the people who directed the Kufuado, the last guy, Afenyoma Kemo, to take the case to Supreme Court because they know when it enters there, their mother will sit on it. Eh? What you people saw on TV, and they said, they say, the Attorney General basically uh, 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 suggested to the court that what is about to happen, the LGB, anti LGBTQ bill case in the Supreme Court, you know, here you showed on TV, this is some way Jimmy. He, they are fooling you people. What you saw on TV, it was rehearsed. Their own or TV to say Supreme Court, you had the camera about Hono. Ah, then if we can bring cameras to the Supreme Court, why don't we place the camera there every day? Do we need the Attorney General to suggest to the Chief Justice that this case put it on camera? Every case at the Supreme Court is important and dear to us and very important to every single person in Ghana and around the world. Why don't you put the camera there 24 7? Because they want to fool you psychologically. We are being clean. See, everything is happening here, everything is transparent. You are foolish. Some of you Ghanaians, yeah, Jimmy, they play with your mind. These people are playing with you. Oh, they all catch them. Or say, now, most of them are Ghana and Ghana. For what Jimmy and I, the Bible, we're going to be in a way. I don't know what you're saying. And we hear a good father should not sign. So they know how you people think and how far you think. And they have trained your brain to believe these kind of lies. They're not moving on TV to say, yeah, the uh, attorney general, Godfrey, that means I have a camera, bra. Hey, and they said from today to 2025, I will say camera about Supreme Court to be there. And now, uh, because every case is important. Every case too is being uh, judged by the taxes, uh, the judges we pay with our taxes. Why are some cases better than some cases? In the eyes of the law, every case should be treated equally. So why are we picking some cases over some cases? If the Attorney General is representing Ghana or defending Ghana or whatever, the Attorney General is us. So why don't we get the opportunity to watch every case on TV? They are, they are playing with you people. Wait, uh, counsel, I'm going a council of state member. I'm going to ask you a question about Ghana. I'm going to ask you Thank you. Do you know this guy? Okujato. His law firm, his firm, they are the secretary to the National Cathedral. This guy, this thief. National Cathedral, no? The law firm, Omuna basically, Omuna Omu running all the secretarial thing, the, uh, the, the, the administrative job. National Cathedral, no? Or technically, when they are secretary. Bumbusan say, and I'm talking about their law secretary. Bumbusan say, the audit report now what National Cathedral now was. We say there you are saying, "Oh, she did too much. We know." We there you are saying, "Oh, Saturday dinner box ma." Acha three weeks. Oh, he died. Oh, you know when he went to court the last week and he told court to give him time. We there are you be kunu. We there you are there you are. We ask no. We on to me board doggy. On to me wolf. On to me wolf for chicken. We Viagra. We on your nipano namu ho. So oh, she did this year because you know that came two weeks. No. This thing. <laughs> and these are not people we are supposed to be listening to. These are liars. These are thieves. These are jokers. They are played on our conscience. And on the age, you're one in 1935. Wait, or your boss move. And go so would that. 
but he's still here and distracting a 17 year old an 18 year old who's supposed to decide for his future now, this fool is not deciding for you wait in the next how many years no who or pray car home or pray off a fed yeah how long is he going to live on earth wait on to me we a yeah a yeah boss or you're walking dead past 83 past 83 walking dead but he's greedy such a dirty old man and the the law is not supposed to work such a filthy dirty old man now see and a story about you say the price of textbooks are likely to go up the prices of textbook are likely to go up in the next few months following the increasing cost of production the Ghana National Association of Authors and Publishers fears the current cost of doing business may collapse their businesses or business if no action is taken. Your friend in Kofukobia, Omo Ghana, Omo na textbook no, Omo no mutro trentini adi adi. Omo say your friend the Ghana National Association of Authors, Omo no mutro and publishers, Omo no mutro no mo publish it. I am not pending serious. Now, so far, so good. Se open online portal of Ghana. Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I am pending TV.